Hello and welcome. We're going to do our next set of notes that we're going to do. It will be for Chapter 3 for your unit on heredity. And as you can see, we're going to be taking two column notes. For the two column notes, the first thing we need to do before we put the words on the side is to split it into two columns. And the easiest way to do is just to simply take your paper and fold it right in half. And then if you can, it would be the best is to even darken that with a ruler so you can see where your column is. Okay, so then you'll have two columns. On the left side, we're going to put our words that we're going to take notes on. It's not going to be our vocabulary list. It's going to be important information. The first word is Mendel, okay, the father of genetics. And then you're going to draw a line to separate that. P, F1, F2, generations, the generations that he looked at. and he, This is how he labeled each generation draw a line, allele, and then draw a line, and then dominant versus recessive. Now you might ask, um, how much space should you give? Okay, but it's completely um, one notebook page for this right here. So if you can just evenly as best you can divide those vocabulary words on one, I'm not, um, the topics on one page. The next page Okay, so you need a new fresh sheet of paper. This is a continuation. You're going to have five more words and it's going to fill up the whole notebook paper. Genes, draw a line. Punnett square, line. Incomplete dominance, separate. Dom Codominance, and then there's a line here for multiple of the last word. And again, this is, as you can see, this is again done in two columns. Fold it over. Or you can make a computer uh, printout, or if you really want, I can make, give you a copy of this in class if you need to. I'm trying to do it a little bit more on your own as best you can. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through this with you, and then I'm going to show you how I highlight, and I'm going to model for you how I'm going to take notes in the two column notes on just the Mendel and what he observed. Okay, so I'm going to grab a highlighter and also a marker. You can use a pencil if you just prefer. Okay, so this is from the opening here, the um, summary of your book. This is not word for word from your book. This is a summary version. What did Mendel observe? In the mid-19th century, Gregor Mendel wondered why pea plants had different characteristics. So if I stop and I look at that first sentence to see if there's any good information, here I have this when he did it. And what did he um, study? He studied pea plants that had different characteristics. So that first sentence right there told me an awful lot. Next sentence. Each characteristic such as height or seed color is called a trait. Okay, so from here, this is a vocabulary word, but I'm going to highlight this. So, characteristic is called a trait. Mendel wondered why the forms of a pea plant's traits were often, but not always, similar to their parents. So here, what did he wonder? What was he studying? He noticed the pea plant's traits were often, but not always, similar. So they were not always similar, but often similar to the parents. His discoveries form the foundation of genetics, the study of heredity. So this is the foundation of genetics, what we're studying right now, the study of heredity. Okay, so from that, I'm able to take that and copy and put into the two column notes. Okay, so on the sheet that I have, and on this side, I will switch. I'm going to use my marker. You can also use a pencil. Just have this because it shows up easier for you. Okay, so here's what I'm going to write down. We wrote down and we highlighted the first sentence about the mid um, 19th century and the pea plants and the characteristics. So I'm just going to take what I underline and make it into a note. So I put down mid 19th century 
and also he studied why, he asked this question, why pea plants had different traits. Okay, so I just took that again right for my underlining. Okay, the other thing that we underlined was that term traits, and I'm just going to abbreviate it because this is how you can take notes. Traits are characteristics. Again, so from this, the highlighting here, so we have characteristics is called a trait. Okay, and then that other note, the pea plants. Are similar to parents. And the last note was this is the foundation of heredity. Okay. So your goal here is to do your reading. And each sentence, find important information, like your research. Put the information into the box that helps explain this concept or term on the left side. So with this one, you're going to be reading in the book and you're going to be looking for things that mention the words P, F1, F2 generations. So explaining here, what are those? Maybe putting only one example of that. And then you continue with all of these. And this will continue and it will take you a little bit of time and I will give you plenty of time um, to be able to get this done. And we'll t discuss it in class and see how we did and compare my notes with your notes and see how well you did. Um, and I hope you did well and I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions about chapter three or how to take two column notes, please let me know and I'll be here to help you. Thank you.